the NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. Here's a scene a short time ago. The Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with the Los Angeles Chargers. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. They'll run for the first time with J.K. Dobbins. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain. I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. From the 30 on second down, Jackson. And he's got Rome. And he's brought down after a very nice game. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. They go play action with Jackson. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Nasir Adderley. That's kind of a double whammy. I mean, the interception on the opening drive, that's one thing. But to give him this field position, that's another. Absolutely perfect start for this defense. They take the ball away on the opening possession. They know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line them up in field goal position. And to me, they got a chance for a touchdown right here out of the gate. After the turnover, here's Herbert. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Keenan Allen, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. And he's going to be down close to a first down at the Ravens 26. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. Now it's Herbert. They'll set up the screen here to Justin Jackson. Three yards the game there, second down. So Charles first. And I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. And this touchdown, Chargers! Down. And the Chargers are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field, but now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. The lane opens here, he's past the 30. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about. <laughs> so that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Jackson. Dance into his left. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. From the 27, Jackson. Wide open is Watkins. He's got it. And in for the Ravens touchdown. John Harbaugh thought about it, and now his guys are going to go for the two-point conversion. 
Jackson here. He's going to look to throw. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to. They got down seven zip. They said, we'll go for two, one up you, and they take the lead. How about that for a little risk reward, right? If you don't get it, you're only down a point. Let's go ahead and make a statement in this ball game. Oh and that's exactly what God. they did. So an onside kick fail in the first quarter. Not sure I completely see the logic. It's not apparent, is it? You almost have to go deeper, I think, and maybe if we try and work along with them and, and speculate a little bit here, they must feel like they need to steal possessions in this game, and maybe they don't match up possession for possession. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by Marion Humphrey. That's certainly not his best throw that time, and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. Skills and understand what the passing game can do and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Call it a gain of five, and that'll make it a second down. From midfield now, here's Jackson. This will be caught by Brown. And past the 35, he'll be dropped. The completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. Throwing again on second down. Jackson being chased out left. Open space inside the 10. And he gets it all the way down to the three. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Jackson now. Uh, he's got it. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. From the gun, it's Jackson. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. But for an easy touchdown. So the Ravens will keep the offense on the field as they're going to go for two. They'll try and throw for it. Eluding the pressure right. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And this will not work out. The Chargers able to recover. The right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for L.A. Herbert now. And he will find his man on the outside. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Here's a diving catch right side. And the Chargers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Eckler. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. In order to try and get this running game going. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Herbert. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. And the Chargers have made this a one-score game. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, it worked. And yeah. Long now will kick it away following the touchdown. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So Baltimore with good starting field position as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Throwing is Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. 
A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he is out of bounds. Teen and a Raven first down. Now it's Jackson. Open man is Duvernay. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. And yet again, just like last play. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. Right back to Duvernay, that's complete. Now Jackson. Steps up. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens will add on to their lead. And this defense, so many things. Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one. And in this portion of the field where things shrink a little bit, because the receivers can't run past anyone because they'll run out of real estate. You should have all that type of a play, but you're exactly right. Have to have the discipline to let it go 10 first. On first down, Justin Herbert. And that is incomplete. To the sideline, he should go put this one into the harbor and live to fight another down without getting wet. Throwing again on second and 10. Herbert on the screen. This is Eckler. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the full. They deal with third and 11. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's Chuck Clark picking it off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. It is third down, so the silver lining is that since this is so far down the field and there wasn't a big run back associated with it, really this kind of works like a punt. It's not an altogether bad result. And this is caught by Watkins. And they finally get him down as he takes it up to the 44. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. And one more time, that's Watkins. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone with free run. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Jackson from the shotgun. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Now it's Jackson. Buying time to his left. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Final play of the half here. It's Jackson. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. And he missed it. It's no good. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Herbert on first down now. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. That catch good for only a couple. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve offense. Second down, Eckler. Bad he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. Imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. 
He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. He's going to look for Allen now on the deep ball. And this is incomplete. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. They snap it to Herbert. He's airing it out for Williams. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only leaders, and the Ravens are going to get the football back. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. On first and ten, it's Jackson. He'll dump this off complete to Dobbins. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Forced out to his left. He'll wind up getting right about in the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. And he swings one that's incomplete. Devin milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. They need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. And that is intercepted. Or was it? Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears trying to go for it on fourth. Here's Jackson to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. The Charger drive about to get going. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was say, maybe makes that offense feel good. Second and seven. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert going deep here for Allen. And that is incomplete. He was trying to get that one. That sparked something there with a longer throw. Unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. And that will be incomplete. Fair to say, it hasn't been his best game throw. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and in. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on fourth, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sideline as a head coach? That was planned going into it. Not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold but he up. he trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much. And I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive. because Back-to-back -back good plays. Have him on the move on first down. To throw is Jackson. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And they'll get this down to the 10. No game in the NFL is ever easy, but they're making it look that way. Everything is being done with such precision. Just on this drive alone, three plays, three first downs. If you're on defense, you're scrambling. Looking at in control of the football. They've also got the lead as we get set for the fourth. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked off down near the five. They were game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy, because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. Now here's a pass on first.
Here's Herbert. Right back to Williams, and this time he's got it. Down the numbers. There he goes. 20, 10, and all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Well, like so many wide receivers, he is a threat with the ball in his hands, and he's able to do his damage here after the catch. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. Off the play fake to Dobbins, here's Jackson. Flush to his right, and he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29. In a proper place on a given play, Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. Dancing to his left. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. That's taken in by Duvernay. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Forward. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. From the gun, Jackson. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Michael Davis. Position. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. And he's got it past the 30 before through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before. So in Raven territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he is tackled inside the 40, not clean again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. And a solid run down inside the 30. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Herbert. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. It's Chuck Clark picking it up. He's at the 30. Pass the 20. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. Yes, yes, defense wins, baby. Whoo! I already know what it is, man. It's your boy JB. If y'all made it this far, man, I appreciate it. You feel me? Make sure y'all subscribe, man. Hit the notification bell. And I'm going to highlight you guys later, man. Peace.